After your house, it's probably the biggest investment you'll make in your life. Yet you leave it neglected and forlorn for up to nine months every year. Damp and ignored. A roost for seagulls. A surface for mould and weed to thrive on. Not only is it bad for the boat, just think of the fun, the pleasure and the adventures that you're missing out on if instead you opted to use the boat for a winter in the sun. Every winter, more and more snowbirds from northern Europe relocate their boats to the sunnier south, where they can enjoy all year round boating. With a group of friends, I've been searching out some of the best places to keep a boat when the weather in Britain turns to winter. Over the following films, I'll be giving recommendations. Some tips as to how best to make the most of your boat once it's there, and how to enjoy all that Southern Europe and the Med have to offer. Getting the boat there is all part of the adventure. Using your vessel to the maximum, rather than just for gin and tonics at your home harbour entrance. Though if you don't fancy Biscay, and it's never as bad as it's made out, there are other options. Depending on your air and water draft, cutting down through the French canal system to the Med is one mellow alternative, either from north to south, or the shorter route from Bordeaux through the Canal de Midi. Smaller yachts can unstep their masts for this transit. Or there's delivery by road, not as expensive as you may think, particularly if you arrange this from a port in the north of France and do the channel crossing yourself. Once the boat's there, budget airlines and the excellent European rail systems make getting to and from an easy pleasure. So firstly, think access from the UK. If, like me, you live in Cornwall and have to travel to London and beyond for a flight, it all becomes far less appealing and more costly. Flights from your local airport are a major factor. And at the other end, some marinas, such as Gibraltar and Santander, are right alongside the airport. Others might be quite some distance away. And then you have your base from which to explore by sea and land regions that you never dreamt of visiting. Whatever your interests, cities, shopping, history, hiking, cycling, or merely immersing yourself in cafe culture, there's a destination that will be perfect for you. So, are you going to leave your boat to weather the British seasons? Or do you fancy using it for a winter in the sun? In the next clip, we'll be looking at what the Atlantic coast of France has to offer as a winter boating destination.